How's it going there, boss? Name is Troy Buckle, and I'm here at Raymond's restaurant today, and I'm gonna learn how to be fancy. My guy is just play some fancy. Boys, how expensive is a feed of meatballs and gravy here? You got that kind of green can or what? Hi, my name is Jeremy Bonia. I'm gonna show you what we have to offer here, and maybe teach you a little bit about dining etiquette as well. How's uh, she caught me, okay? Uh, she's cutting good, pretty good. All right, so first off, attire. You probably don't want to be wearing dirty coveralls in the restaurant. All right, one sec, old man. Well, what do you think of that? Just like a Northern Prince of Lizard shedding his skin. Just the cleanest pair I got. And fire retired too. Not fancy, I know. All right, we're gonna sit up straight, uh, no elbows on the table, and just try and act as respectful and mannerly as possible. Go away, boy. Listen, uh, how much one of these here chairs, boy? I know that won't be the keen rig up to the cabin. Of course, I'm at the cabin, boy. There's plenty of places to shit, but nowhere to sit. You know what I'm talking about, Ray? My name's not Ray. Oh, that's right, boy. Raymond. No, Raymond's is the name of the restaurant. Yeah, that's neither here nor there, boy. Uh, can we get a drink while I'm parched? Yeah, let's get a drink, please. So this is a Pinot Noir from Pelee Island in Ontario. Really nice cherry, good floral aromas to it. Sure is wicked boy. You say there's floral in that? I can taste grandmother's garden chair. You're supposed to enjoy the wine in the glass. Not out of the bottle. Oh sure, I enjoyed the bottle, but that was wicked. Let's do this again. Now, take a sip from the glass. Try and be a little descriptive about it. Tell them where you taste. Why, that's not bad. All right, I think you can be a little more descriptive than that. Not bad, Ta. Sure, that's better than the stuff that uh, Father Murphy gives you in Holy Communion. Sure, that's so good, that could be the mix. I'm just gonna give her a little top off. No, wait. You're not allowed to bring your own liquor in here. No, don't worry about that, old man. That's not mine. That's me, buddy Skips. What up there, buddy? And uh, don't worry about this, this isn't mine either. I just took this from the fridge back there. So, uh, what do you like to eat? Uh, I usually don't mind a feed of craft dinner, but to be honest. Oh, right, so it's fancy. Craft dinner with some weenies throwed in. Still not fancy enough for you, is it, my son? Well, I'll tell you what, feast years on this dish. Skip, come here, give me a hand, look. So we start off with a nice moist slab of room temperature bologna. Straight from uh, down to the convenience store down the road there. Then you add a little bit of sauce to it, a little tomato reduction. Look, Ray, that's you. He drew you, look. Skip, I know you're not there at us. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and vinegar crumble. And to top her off, we add a little bit of pineapple drizzle. Bon appetit there, buddy. Now they're all buddy. Why if that down in you and tell me it's not fit to eat? I have a better idea. Uh, how about I bring you a braised lamb pasta? Yes, my son. I'm not one to turn on a free feed. Not like some fellers I knows. And did you say that was lamb? My son, come on with it. They calls me the glutton for mutton. Let me go get this started. Mmm. <laughs> Boys, that's some good. Eight or ten minutes in open tin can, hey? Anyhow, I'm gonna stay here now, boys, and have a taste of whatever cocky got in there cooking for me. So, uh, hope some of you at home learn how to be fancy just like I did. Skip! Where are you going with the chair, boy? Boy, this would be deadly for firewood. Don't tell Buddy, though. Anyhow, like I was saying, thank you to Jeremy and Raymond for having us here tonight. What a spot, boys. Made me for right fancy. The boys back home is gonna think I'm a townie now, eh, boy? I got just steal my chair. I just ate it. Don't miss Show McGinn at the Yellow Belly Brewery, starring Mike Lynch, Cecil O'Brien, and special guests. Tickets go on sale this Friday, November 20th.